Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Mayor Ed Ganey is speaking about this right now, and we do want to listen in live. The community have been putting forth ideas about what they, they think can stop the violence. What is the thought that you're having? What is your office? What is your department? Well, you know, we're working with a lot of the community groups right now. Um, you know, there's not, there's not a magic wand or one pill that's going to solve this. This is something that's going, that's deeply rooted, and we have to pull it out by the root. And we will continue to work diligently. That's why I always say we need the community. You know, it's more than just policing. We need community. And in community, we can help save each other. That's what I've been preaching from day one. That's what I'm going to continue to talk about because that's what I believe. We've seen it done in the 90s that where the community came together. We were to eliminate, we were able to eliminate a lot of this crime. We know how important the community is. That's why you always hear me talk about the community and let them know that they're valuable. They're the asset that we need. And we have to continue to do this. But at the next level, too, we got to talk about it. We got to get all these guns off the street. You got to change some of these gun laws. These gun manufacturers, suppliers that's out there, they flooded the streets with guns. They flooded. They have a responsibility. And they are wrong. And at some level, we have to reverse that 2005 law that says that they are, they're immune to being sued because they're gun manufacturers and suppliers. You flooded the street. You, you, you're responsible for a lot of this. So, yes, you should be able to be sued. What's your message to families tonight, parents who are scared about their children going to school tomorrow? I think, you know, Westinghouse has been safe. Let's, let's, not, let's, let's not do that because this school has been safe. We have not had a shooting here in years. So I don't want nobody taking this that you had one incident. Oh, Westinghouse is a bad school. They just went to the state finals. They have not had no violence there. They have incorporated Wilkinsburg into the school district, and it has worked well over the years. This is an example of a school we should be proud of. We should be celebrating the fact that they have succeeded, that they are doing better. And incidences like this happen. But that shouldn't be a black on the work that they're putting in to make this a, a great school. Let's focus on that. Let's focus on the positivity of Wilkinsburg and home will coming together to go to Westinghouse and end this how safe it's been. How, let, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the positive of it so that people can understand that this is a good community. And we're fighting what every other community is fighting, gun violence. And everybody is tired of it. That's why we got more people to step up and talk about what's going on and we need more. But we ain't running from this. We've addressed it at every level. If it happened, we're going to be there. We'll get information. You do gun violence in the city, you will get arrested. We've proven that. We will continue to prove that. <coughs> but let's not make it look like this is a bad school. Mayor Ganey, um, can you tell us a little about, there's usually a program, the REACH program and multiple other community programs my reach people are. that are present here at the school. Cornell. Can you talk? So the REACH program is actually, the, we, we, they were, they, they're, they're here. Um, in fact, they're on top of it right now. They're working on the situation, trying to interrupt the disease of violence. Um, they're 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 going to be here when the kids come back uh, from school uh, and, and are here. They're going to be here, you know, greeting them when they come back. They're going to the community right now to be, be able to continue to build their relationships, to be able to put out the fires that are, um, have been started from this situation. There, a lot of p times people don't realize that there, there's retaliations that come from these types of situations. They're connected to the people that, that need to, you know, de deal with the disease and be, be able to get the resources to be able to help the situation. You know, we're going to work with the families that have, that have been shot, with the young students that have been shot. Um, when we come back, on um, when, when we do come back, we're going to make sure that we have resources. We have counselors already talked to counselors. They're going to be coming back here. Some therapists are going to be coming back here. We want to love on the kids. The REACH program is going to love on the kids. The counselors are going to come up, love on the kids. We're going to love on them and let them know that you are still an amazing school. You're still a championship school, and we want to love on you for the championships, champions that you are. Your name, sir? Cornell Jones. Okay. Reverend Cornell okay. Jones. Uh, C O R N E L L. J O N E S R E V. What was your title with the organization? Director of Street Outreach for the City of Pittsburgh. Thank you so much. Can I ask you one question? Sorry. Um, why do you think uh, a couple of residents were saying? Why do you think the violence is getting worse, though? What, what's your opinion on that? I mean, that's what we just spoke about: more guns on the street and these kids' ability to get these guns. But you already know that. You know that when kids get these guns, this is what happens: more guns on the streets means more violence. We have to get these guns off the street and we have to begin to tighten up our gun laws. And I said it before, if the state or fed don't want to do it, give us the power to do it. We'll do it and we'll do a great job. And what's your message to the juveniles watching at home? Just uh, in light I mean, You know that we love them. We love our juveniles. And we want the best for our juveniles. You know what I mean? And, and, and we'll do whatever we can to protect these juveniles. And we have and we're going to continue. You know, our juveniles, they didn't, listen, I said this before and you've heard me say this before. 
You know, our juveniles didn't create this culture. You're too young to create a culture. They just inherited the culture we left them. And we have to be able to understand that all of us, including the media, has a role to play in helping us save lives. Just like we sitting there talking about what happened here today, there's a lot of great stories in that school right now yes. that should be reported, that we should be talking about. Because the so, if we if we sow a positive seed, including in the media, then the return gets greater. I've said from day one, it takes all of us. We ain't saying that it's, it's, it's one spirit's fault, but we all have a part to play when it comes to saving children. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.